like a craft beer through a pint glass. These are the gaze of our lives. A show where Lisa and Avery get out their gay decoder rings to decipher the gay alphabet and bridge the gap between the older and younger LGBTQ community and everyone fucking else. And now here are your hosts, Lisa and Avery. Don't blame them. Hey guys, it's Lisa and Avery. And today on the Gaze of Our Lives, we have Wes and his lovely wife, Andy. Wife, right? Yes. yes. Oh, thank God. That would have been really awkward, huh? <laughs> right. All right. So um, I guess just to kind of preface this, Wes, you're a trans man, correct? Yes. Okay, good. Otherwise, that was going to be really awkward, too. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you guys been married? Uh, three years. Yeah. Three years. How long have you been together? Like three years. So you got married as soon as you got together? Uh, like four years. Well, four we, years. we've been friends for like seven, but. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We've known each other for a long minute. Yeah. So okay. did you, so when you guys started dating, Wes, were you already Wes? I was already Wes, but okay. when we met, I was not. Okay. So, so, so she did go through that transition with me as well. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. Can we talk about that? How was that? Yeah, Andy, how was that? I mean, was it, <laughs> I, I can, I can, I, mean, I was like, where are we going with this? Well, I mean, how hard was that to go through that? Because I mean, he's not a different person, but... Oh, but I guess that's not even my question. What was that like to observe someone oh, like, well, that become too. themselves? Yeah. And like, obviously, that's what you're attracted to is Wes as himself. Yeah, when I met him, he was still fun, sarcastic, kind of smart assy, and that hasn't changed. But it's just fun being there for it, and kind of confusing and upsetting when you see like all the different people and their different perspectives, and you just like, I'm gonna kick your butt if you don't start being nice to him right now. <laughs> but other than that, no, he's still the same. She did do that. I she heard, definitely tried to pick a lot of fights at I've the beginning. I've a lot of people, usually with pull sticks. Mm -hmm. so. I have a feeling you're the one that would uh, oh. kick somebody's butt before him. Oh, yeah. No, I'm definitely that I person. would totally watch that bar fight. I, yeah. I really would. I don't know. I still have a good bar fight, though, if I'm being 100% honest. Mm -hmm. I love the east side for that very reason. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's only ever been one fight that I was involved in that he was a part of, and somebody picked me up and carried me off on their shoulder, and I was like, it's okay. I work with her. I'll see her tomorrow. <laughs> I'll finish this. Wow. Was that at the bar that you worked that, at? No, that was at oh. the bar in Fort Smith. That's oh. the deep south, though. So. Oh, okay. Okay. So I was yeah. gonna ask. So, so you were you met with like a lot of opposition when you were when you were transitioning? Yes. I lived in Oklahoma, and I grew up in a tiny little town with like a bunch of rednecks. Mm -hmm. Wow. So even when we moved back to Stigler. I, they knew, but I had to, like, I wouldn't go anywhere by myself. Yeah, we hid out in the country, made sure nobody knew we lived there, really. Mm -hmm. like, oh, my everybody gosh. Everybody around there would have, like, their, like, last name on stuff, like, their mailbox. And we're like, mm, we're not doing that. I don't want to pay for another mailbox when that gets mm -hmm. smashed. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there was, like, all kinds of things. Like, my ex-girlfriend was from the same town, and it was, like, KB is a homo, like, spray-painted everywhere, like, just rude. And it says, like, die, KB, just mm -hmm. because of it. Just being gay. Just yeah, imagine just how. just from being gay. Oh my gosh! And that and so that, and that that was only seven years ago then or or before. Well, we lived there. We moved there. Well, we moved away from there like a year, a year ago. ago. So yeah. that wasn't even that long ago. Wow. That was going on. No, they're like totally years crap. In the past, probably more than. Oh yeah. Oh Fort Smith. Gosh. Fort Smith was a little better when we lived in Fort Smith, Arkansas. It's a little bit bigger. That city. was better than Oklahoma. Yes. yes. Arkansas. Well, it's just well, a it's not town. Alabama. Yeah, I'm not guess, trying to do that thing with states or anything. <laughs> no, like, but I mean, they even have a gay bar there, but it's not yeah. called gay bar. It's called alternative bar. Yeah. And we're all it was pretty nice or tight community, so we stick That's up for thing. each other. And but I don't think anybody goes by themselves anywhere mm -mm. there. Like oh you just God. don't go out by yourself yeah. without some kind of your community with you. <sighs> I would have been dead if I lived in a place like that. Oh yeah, you're you're like you're Hello. out. Yeah, there's like a pride flag hanging from I, your I, back all the time. I can't, much. I can't not. <laughs> oh, <man>. Shush. <laughs> she actually met me um, I, at a place I played poker. She was a, a waitress there. Yeah. And oh, I, okay. I didn't know it until. Yeah, I met her and I was like, <laughs> you're so obvious. You're not even a hundred footer. <laughs> <laughs> the workers didn't get it though. And I'm just like, you guys suck. I haven't heard hundred footer in a minute. <laughs> I've never heard that. That's, You've never heard hundred footer? I've never heard that term. Oh, that's funny. 
Sorry, I just think that's funny because like you're you you are not even a hundred foot. Like you're yeah. so far. Yeah, I'm like past. a thousand. You're like yeah. like nine hundred feet. See, I'm like hitting my car. If you see pink, breaks. you know. Oh yeah, she's you know. So. I think it's like the whole on I mean, everything, everything. You know, yeah, like, I know. Yeah, it's like the whole package. It's not even that because it was so. before that even before the oh. mullet. Oh yeah. Before, oh yeah. Before you had pink in your hair. Before the mullet and everything. Yeah, I was like this then too. Yeah, oh, it was this. So you guys, have, you guys have. Well, no, I mean a, they they didn't know me then, but just, I mean I, always I've always been that oh, super. No, yeah. yeah, I was talking about from her perspective. Uh, there, yeah. So. No, I don't think. How long ago was that that uh, you worked there? Um, April, maybe. Oh, just mm-hmm. just recently, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was funny. We went to a friend's going away party, and he was sitting next to me. And I said, you know, he he said they're you know like his parents, kind of two friends of mine, uh, two lesbians, and. I was like, really? It's odd I haven't ever met you. And we're sitting there talking and everything. And he goes, I used to play football with the speed. And I was like, that's a girls team. And he's like, I was like, oh, (laughs) wow. I was like, okay. I didn't even. It took a while for everything to click. It did. It took, I didn't even get it. I was like, (laughs) okay, I feel dumb. Then it was like two hours of conversation after that. So many questions. I was, I was like, (laughs) okay, we need to talk. When she meets a trans person. I I, I want to know everything. Cause I, especially when I didn't realize it, I just was like, I should know the better by now. Well, but the goal is to not. I know, but uh, I was that, to be fair, like if you want to be stealth, said, I was you like, would be stealth. And that's what I said. You're very passing, you know, because I was sitting there talking to this him. This is her no only clue. example, so. It's all right. <laughs> what? what? Is that not right? No, passing is, that's accurate. Okay. I'm saying the reason he is passing, and he is, you are very passing, but also you're used to someone who is not very passing being around you weekly, so. Well, yeah. I'm just saying. True. So, no, I mean, it makes a difference. Like, honestly, when I meet passing people, I get really excited about my future. Because right now I look in the mirror and it's just like a hell every morning. So You, you should not compare. I, I'm going to tell you, the first three years of doing this, comparing is the worst thing you can do to your mental state. Oh, that's all I do. It's, it's awful. It's, I, admit, I admit it's not. It's bring you down more than you could. I, you know Aiden Dowling on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. I did nothing but compare myself to him and I had to stop watching. It just put me in a dark. Because everybody, which I'm Indian. I'm never going to grow the mustache. It's never, this is it. This is is the extent so you got to yeah. look at your genetics you got to look at you're not you're not ever going to be what yeah you think how long have you been on tea six uh, 2012 years yeah, oh seven. seven seven years this year okay how long have you been on it year and a half now okay yeah that that's yeah. no it's definitely a wide most difference. of your changes are going to happen by year three yeah and it's going to be dramatic yeah, his like just woke up one morning. And I was like, "Holy shit, dude, where'd that beard come from?" <laughs> you just come. You think that you can't notice it because you're seeing it every day, but one day you wake up and you're like, "Holy cow, something happened overnight." But, oh, see, but that I'm like genuine. But you know, and to be fair, like you know, obviously they, they, there's surgery and all that too. To, like I have to look forward to, but well, you haven't had any surgery, have you? No. You lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> God Not damn lucky. it. That's that's probably my number one dysphoric thing about me is the no surgery thing. Yeah. But just top, I don't. You just yeah, but you just you don't even. I know. He, like, it just you don't even. Well, buying the right things helps, making sure that you don't cheap out on anything and. Good quality products. Good quality mm, like products. Like binders and stuff. Yes, and, and making sure the size. Like I used to buy a size that fit my body right, and that was too small. And I'm like, well, I'm not going up bigger because it's not going to. Work as well. Do yeah, the work job as well. So when I went up, it actually compresses better. Yeah. Really? Yes. Because if you do like the size that fits your body, yeah. all it does is it rounds the front and then you end up looking like you got a giant uniboob like I do if yeah. I wear a sports bra. Yeah. So but if, if you, you go have, up. Yeah. But if you go up, it actually presses down and. Because the, like, the compression's coming breathe. from your front, not the back. So if you get one that actually fits like the size of your t shirts are, it compresses correctly. So my biggest mistake is when I actually did go up to the size I should have been in, then you start to become flatter. And you know your ribs don't hurt as bad. Mm. Oh, and that is like a major thing at the end of the day. I'm because I'm I'm a I work like an early morning job, so you know I'm wearing a I'm wearing a binder for probably not the healthiest amount of hours sometimes. So which is another. Oh, you have the you have a similar issue. I do. <laughs> but the, so the rib thing is like there, really recently been. Is there a certain amount of time that you're only supposed to really wear it per day? You shouldn't wear it longer than eight hours a day. Okay. Yeah, you I'm like, yeah, and you're not supposed to be wearing it for more than like a year or so because it does start to like reshape your ribs. Yeah, mine's already mine's already reshaped, kind of but your ribs? Yes, they've already. I've got the two that touches the where it goes around are already compressed in smaller than the rest of them. Now, what kind of issues is that going to cause you in the long run? 
with your ribs. I mean, could it? I don't it? think it'll, I mean, it'll not, it's not going to affect surgery. It might just look strange when I go topless later, I guess. I don't know if it's noticeable like that. I mean, but could it cause any health issues? I don't know. Sometimes the answers I don't want to know. I don't think it will. I get that. Yeah, I get that. That's true. That's true. It's kind of like when, like, you kind of, like, think about your dosing, you know what I mean? And every now and then you really want to bump yourself up. But I'm like, but that could cause trouble I'd actually have to look into. (laughs) Well, the bumping up, actually, if you go more than your body can take, what you're actually doing is your testosterone is going to be turned back into estrogen. And it's going to counteract what you think is actually yeah. going on. See, it's on. good I don't mess with my dosing. That's it's true. Good to know. <laughs> that's I, true. Because literally, like, that's one thing Allie and I have been very religious about is like what my doctor says. And that's, that's yeah. good to know. That's his follow, fiance. Follow your doctor's advice and what they do. Because if you're like on 0.5 and you go up to 1%, What's yeah. say 0.75 is your body's max. That 0.25 is going to get reversed back down and going to start. And then your body's just battling yeah. itself. You're just going to contradicting. Yeah. Huh. Is there an I think we need to talk a little bit about these binders for people that don't know. That yeah. Watch okay. because I mean I well not that I need to know but I think there are a lot of people out there that don't know that you have to get a good binder. No, but to be fair, because for a long time I was using cheap binders and it wasn't until um, I started having like bad rib pains mm-hmm. now now i only get them bad if like, i wear my binder like for elongated amounts of time but like when you know you have those cheap mesh ones that you can get from like china basically and they like but they are bad for you for sure you know so well, like where do you find the real good binders well gc2b is the best place they have the best quality of binders that i've okay since i've gone to them because they use different materials than the mesh it's more like a sweat resistant kind of material Ooh. so it's way more comfortable but if you're wearing a binder that has any kind of red marks on your body it's too small you need to you need to go up hmm. for his, sure his first one that he bought was such an outdated style like and at the time it was because it was seven years ago but it's yeah, the it one that so caused low. his ribs to like start bending in oh. and once we switched to the new ones he's like i need a new one this is dead and when he got that in, it's just been like so much easier. And you can tell that he's like happier in life wearing that. You can move person. more freely. That other thing, like when he first got it, I helped him put it on. I was like, Mm-mm. was it like a corset almost putting it on him? It's just so tight. You don't, and it that, doesn't give. Yeah. There's no give. So you have to like, suck that's breathe. what I mean. Yeah. yeah. It's very oh, restricting that's, like that. Yeah. I can't, I can't imagine. I, I don't feel for you guys. I mean, I do feel for you guys. I, I would really never, wrong. I said that wrong. <laughs> I would never, oh, I would never want to have to go through that. Mm-mm. I'm, I just, mean, I'm lucky I don't have to I mean, that. Let no me say that. I try to be a smart ass and put it on, but these ain't going in there. I got to here and I was like, can't breathe. Get it off me now. Oh. I tried. It was a terrible decision on my part. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lucky. I, oh, never mind. I'll leave that alone. Anyways. Well, no, I, I want to, I, I just like it. I don't, well, yeah, no, it doesn't. You're right. It's, it's not lucky, but I mean, I'm lucky. I don't have to wear bras or anything anymore. I'm just, but it does suck too. yeah. So, but, um, I definitely don't miss bras. I mean, as much as binders suck, I don't miss bras. There's like a whole other level to those things. Yeah. I only wore sports bras. So lucky. ever, <laughs> they weren't that big. Yeah. You know. So, okay. So the binder. I, you know, I think that's that's a big point, though. I don't think some of the young kids necessarily, they, they if their parents aren't. Well, the big thing is to make sure you're doing healthy binding, too, because, like, ace bandages are really bad. Um, I know people who have done the whole duct tape thing, like, you know. Oh. oh. Ow. Yeah. Well, not, like, straight to their skin. It was, yeah, like, over their sports bra, but still, it's, like, obviously really not what you yeah. want to be binding oh. with. It needs to give somewhat, so that way it's not like compressing your ribs and your Mm -hmm. lungs and everything else i mean if you don't have access to actually get a quality binder and you don't want anybody um, ace bandage is the worst but you could always get like the compression swim to swim top things like the sports bra they compress for the swimming oh okay you get compression tanks and anything that's made to compress yeah is way safer than ace ace bandages or duct tape well that's what i would think that there are probably kids out there that their parents aren't in agreement with them being trans you know because there are a lot of parents apparently in oklahoma that's like well yeah well yeah but i mean (laughs) you know so i can i can imagine them just doing what they have they can do what they can find i mean when i first started i mean it was before i was really out trans like i mean i i'm not gonna lie i did the whole a spanish thing but i recognized like after like day two like this is hurting my body and i think it takes like but i don't know if everybody has that body intelligence you know well, I, I saw that um, the original L word, uh, Max, was doing an ace bandage. Yeah. I, that's all I thought binding was until you. 
you know, until oh, yeah. you talked about an actual binder. Yeah. So I think it's important to talk about that too, you know, so kids do know. So yeah. we could put maybe a link up on that for that yeah. place that he's GCTV. talking about. Yeah. yeah. They're a lot cheaper than people realize too. Because They're a lot cheaper than they used to be yeah. too. I'll say the last time I looked like, into them, yeah. it was like 35 40 something. bucks for the one I had. But when I first bought one, I paid almost $79 yeah. for it. And it was, but they didn't have the options they have now. So it's basically the same cost as a, a good brawl almost. It's still cheaper than a good brawl. But. Well, <laughs> for Victoria's <laughs> Secret, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I went to Kohl's for cheap ones, so, you know. I can't even buy a Victoria's Secret. I give up. We gotta like make parachutes. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Sew them together. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so, it's <okay>. true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, one thing I, I think we've experienced with a lot of uh, like trans people we have interviewed, um, well, like when I started dating my fiance, she was very well researched when we started dating, but you already knew him from going through the transition. So, did you like. Did you just, did you do any type of research or did you just kind of know already just from watching him? I think I went through it in the learning process with him. Okay. Yeah. Because, I mean, I had a friend in high school that like always suspected he was because then he was a she, but he just like, what, a couple years after you started? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He just recently started right after Wesley did, started the transition process and I was like, in high school, that long ago, because that was like early 2000s, I had no idea what that was, what was going on, but you could yeah. tell like he's not who he's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So I had just that growing up with him, but the actual seeing the everyday and learning about it and figuring it out with him so you can be supportive of him in the process. Yeah. That, was a, that was a learn as you go, make mistakes, figure it out. Yeah. Did you guys have issues because of it during it with your relationship? No, we've never had issues with it. She was actually the first, I was married at the time when I did come out and she was my best friend and I told her before I long before I told everybody else. Who were you married to? Uh, uh, male or female? Female. female. Okay, yeah. just making sure. I thought so, yeah. but you know, just making sure. Yeah, so she know. she knew first and then I told it took a long time. Like actually she ended up telling a lot of people for me because I couldn't do it. I'm like, these people need to know, but I can't do it. So she would tell them and deal with you all of them. You are a good best friend. And I don't know what happened behind closed doors, but I don't know if she whooped them into shape or what, but they came out completely accepting. So, yeah. well, <laughs> well, she is de definitely the extrovert of the relationship. Yes. I've yelled at many people, threatened many of people, told people mm -hmm. if they didn't like it, they can, you know, fuck off pretty much. Exactly. Can I say? Don't yes, yes, that. you can. Yeah, Sorry. no, no, you can. We have not been told we can't yet, so we're just kind of going with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's yeah. cold, and I'm assuming everybody has a beanie or earbuds yeah. on, so that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Well, there's really not like many that. people on the street right now I listening like to us, so it's okay. you know, going, I don't know, that's <laughs> I've got on to many people, yelled at many people, like, some previous relationships of his. I'm like, dude, you need to get your shit together. Like, for real understand and respect and acknowledge mm -hmm. or fuck off honestly yeah. though I, I my fiance is like a very similar way when like we yeah. like deal with doctors or anything like that and they start off with the wrong pronouns she's very quick to be like so he and yeah. then i just and i just sit there i'm like oh baby's gonna do the talking so yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what she does at family things and it's pretty isn't that the best you <laughs> no correcting family is super hard so that makes you amazing seriously it's like one of the worst things i go through is and i don't know i love my family they're very supportive but that's really hard for them and ali is very good about that so you doing that for him is is a million yeah he's got a family member that just absolutely refuses and one day uh people came over to our house and they're like um uh, we're looking for like used his dead name previous yeah that name and i was like um i'm andrea and they're like, oh, well, I was looking for so-and-so's daughter. I'm like, yeah, that's me. Just straight oh, yeah. up. And then I'm like, you need to not. Uh-uh. We've talked about this before. Figure it out because right. everybody else can do it. Right. Well, and I can't even imagine somebody looking at you and calling you a she. I've <laughs> never seen a woman with that kind of beard. I have actually just accepted my family's never going to do it. Actually, I've given them a time frame. Yeah, I've been on it. Let's see, I was 21 when I started, so they have until I'm 42, because then I've been a man longer. So at 42, I'm not accepting it anymore. It's okay, That's because awesome. they look That's really stupid when we go to restaurants, <laughs> and they use the wrong pronouns, and they look so stupid. Oh, well, yeah. Themselves. And I'm just like, me, sure, why not? But <laughs> they look like total idiots every single time when mm -hmm. the waiter is like, I only see one woman over here. Right. Well, yeah. that, that's what I mean. I don't understand how anybody could call you a she. I mean, yeah, they knew you as that, but... Ignorance. 
I don't know. Some I I just make excuses for them too. But you do. Like I have a brother. You're too nice. I have a brother who's 16, and if you asked me how old he was, I would still tell you he's like nine. That's because true. I don't look <laughs> at him, even though he looks 16 and he's huge. In my head, he's always going to be a little baby. So I just assume in their heads they're not I really get that. looking at me. They're seeing what feeling, they have. thinking of me. I get that to a point. Yeah. But it's different. He's not like listen, brother. I'm 16 now. Don't treat me like I'm a kid. Right. I mean, it's I mean, not, it's not the same I thing. Would, I would comply. <laughs> you know, you say that, but like, <laughs> my little brother just turned 27. I still treat him like he's 10 sometimes. So it's yeah. like, Patey, what are you doing? Yeah. And it's just, I mean, but at the same That's time, like. a little different, I think. I think that, I think that there's a lot of things that go into it. I think that even with my dad, like, and he's the only person who I'm genuinely 100% forgiving with. And it's because like. That dude and I went to father-daughter dances like four times at least in my life. And I know that there's a lot of like stuff up there. Like you said, he's like feeling who you are more than what he's seeing. And it's like... He's gotten a lot better, right? I mean, he's... Yeah, no, and he has. But what I'm saying is like there's going to be misgendering because they're not looking at you. You know what I mean? True. I I also have to keep in mind too that just because I transition, everybody else transitions as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, my parents had to transition to, I mean, they don't have their daughter anymore. So that could, my mom sometimes still mourns. The loss of her daughter. Right, because we just don't have that connection now that we did then. So I have to also be patient with them as they have to be patient with me that we're transitioning and doing this together. So never thought about that like that. Well, then also like my, my counselor told me like, you know, mentally you have felt this way your whole life where they have been painting a whole different picture of you. And that's like not been your choice, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Now I know because we've talked about it, you do plan on hopefully doing top surgery sometime soon. Yeah. Correct. So financially that's the goal. I told him to get a part-time job at Starbucks. I actually thought about it. That's what I've got going. Now now I'm just looking for a surgeon. That's just the step I'm on. Yeah. So, I mean. I don't know if it's more of finances or I'm just, I'm scared of surgery. I had carpal tunnel surgery, surgery last year and I was terrified for anesthetic. And so I don't know if I'm prolonging it because I'm terrified of. Well, you survived carpal tunnel, tunnel surgery, clearly. Barely. 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 Oh Barely. my gosh. I was going to say, tell me, Slytherin, what happened? This Hufflepuff's being dramatic. <laughs> he, he is. He's, he's a dra- dramatic. No, unfortunately, he's not a Hufflepuff. He is a Gryffindor. Oh, that's worse. God. I don't understand. I know. Mm. But no, the he, burdens you carry, honey. <laughs> no, he's, he was pretty, I can't do it. What if I don't wake up? I'm like, you're going to wake up, dude. It's just your hand. I was say, it's just your I don't, hand. And I don't know everything that goes into a carpal tunnel surgery, so I could totally be off it. But that's not that's not a very long surgery, is it? You no, don't have to be under four minutes. Down, like, four minutes. I've had it. Like, before I sat down, like, I walked up it's there with four him when they called surgery? him back. I sat down. Dude, you're adorable. Like, I, <laughs> right? I didn't even make it to opening my book all the way to find my line. And they're like, oh, hey, we're moving them in the back if you want to come on back. Now. But it only what takes the- 30 seconds to never wake up. You're the most dramatic. Oh, my Whoa. God. Drama okay. queen. Hold on. Now I want to get an anesthesiologist in here because now I want to believe it takes way longer than 30 seconds for you to never wake up. I don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. Hey, guys. It's Lisa with The Gaze of Our Lives. And this week's episode is sponsored by my own CBD line through Denver CBD. It's actually the first one in town here that has vitamin D in it. And it's also helping with different causes. The strawberry flavor is... goes to Cancer Support Community. The orange flavor, 5% goes to the National MS Society. Use my code, Lisa20, and get 20% off your order. But, okay, I've had, I have more scars. They they say that women think scars are sexy. They should be banging down down my door because I have so many of them. I've gone through so many (laughs) surgeries in my adult life that, dude, if that's what you want more than anything, it's... No, I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm just... You can't be scared of that. That, There's way more planes that crash than people that don't come out of something like that. Great. And I'm not going to get on a plane. (laughs) Oh, my God. And I got to freaking fly (laughs) later. Oh, (laughs) jeez. Just doom and gloom. All of it. (laughs) It's okay. I'm going to push them. I'm not going to let them, like, get scared No, it's number one on the list. Yeah. It's definitely number one on the list. I don't care how afraid he is. I know that it's that important. And he knows that, so. I can't imagine you being a wimp. 
not really. No, it's just when anesthesia. it comes to surgery. Oh. Anesthesia. That is, it's to be fair, I have never had a surgery where I've gone under before. So for me, that I will say it's intimidating, but also I'm also just kind of reckless. And I'm like, I just want it done. You could like literally just put some numbing cream on there and go at it with a hatchet and I'm there. Well, see, I'd be fine with that if I could stay awake. It's just the anesthesia because I had my wisdom teeth taken. I was 16 and I told them I didn't want to go under. And I watched friends on TV while they pulled all four of my wisdom teeth out. But they, they wouldn't do my surgery without going under. So I had to... I had to do it. I'm sure you could find the right surgeon in Mexico. Yeah, you that know, safe. Just that, like that's like, what I mean. That's yeah. not. Yeah. That's not something that's just a good. You really idea. want to be awake for it? There's probably an option. I don't know. Uh, it's the option. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is with that surgery. No. Mm -mm. I'm, I would like you to come back. Mm -hmm. I for Therefore, sure would be coming back. Yeah. Therefore, I'm just going to need you. To He'd come back. He just might have a couple balloons up his butt. He'll be okay. <laughs> you have to fly though, so that's the other part that we just covered. <laughs> We're out on the fly now. Yeah, somebody just ruined planes. <laughs> I'm sorry. They, there's not very many plane crashes though, you guys. I'm just that's my point. <sighs> I got you. I understood your point. I'm just kidding. Okay, thank you. Because I love flying. I'm still not flying. Chicken. I give up. I no problems with that. I I will. I, I have no qualms with being. I, like I flew to Canada um, a couple years ago, and I just remember the whole flight. I'm like, this is this is how I'm gonna die. This is it. This was this was a great life, but this is how I'm dying, and it's gonna be in Canada of all freaking places. Which I love Canada, to be fair. Right. I do. I love me some good Canadians, but that was just terrifying. I love flying. Like, I do too. I would fly everywhere if I could. Mm -hmm. Eat, like take off and landing. Oh, you're I good love with that. All of it. Oh, I. Even when like the tires hit the ground and you're like, mm. is the is landing gear gonna keep up with this? My only concern is when it takes off and it lands is, is this sports bra gonna hold me? <laughs> That's all I cared about, like every time. Even in high school when I was like half the size, I was like, uh. That's all I cared about. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna get a black guy. <laughs> I'm usually asleep before we even take off, and I just sleep through it even half the that time. It knocks you out. I, I love to fly, though. I do, too. I, I enjoy the takeoff, honestly. When I'm drunk, I'm great. I love the... <laughs> I, I like the takeoff. That's my life motto. I love that. <laughs> I love that Dude, we're going to be friends after this. <laughs> I had that feeling, yeah, actually. I could show up a little tipsy if she wanted to be... be more social. More you social. totally could have showed up tipsy. I would. We could have had a code, man. <laughs> I just passed you the flask under the desk. I said I'd bring you some CBD so you get relaxed a little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he looks not, really relaxed. You're too. not doing too bad. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Human buffer right here in the middle. Yep. <laughs> Always my buffer. So what do you what do you do as a job? What's your what's your? I deliver flooring. Okay, that's like that. That's masculine, right? Do, do people know that you're trans there? No. Okay, that's even cooler to me just because I would love that. Well, since we moved here, I think aside from family and friends that I had previously, I don't think anybody knows that I associate with in my day-to-day -day life. Until now. I ain't scared of these people. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be a thing. I mean, thing. it's not a secret, but I'm all, I live by the don't ask, don't tell. You don't ask me, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to mm. tell you. Well, there's you no reason know. that you would have to say that to anybody that I'm trans. You know, right. you just go by Wes, and that's all there is to but it. If somebody confronts me about it, I'm not ashamed if somebody's like, hey, you're a trans man. I'm like, yeah, but I'm not going to go out and publicize it either. Not right. like, well, I'm yeah. not going to show up to my job and be like, guess what, guys? <laughs> Meanwhile, I well, get on a stage every day. Every we're, we're that, yeah, like, that's, by the way. <laughs> well, that's different for us I, than I think the average person. I don't think a that's lot true. of lesbians go out and just like, hey. That's know. a lie. Have you been to the Metro recently? <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have. They're the they, first people to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Our last trip to the metro involved me being surrounded by like a hundred Santas all at once, awful. and it really freaked me the fuck 100 out. A hundred Santas? But I did find two really hot sleazy looking ones because he dared me to go take pictures with two hot Santas, mm -hmm. so I did. Were they male or female? Oh, they're female. Come on now. Oh well, I. What the hell? I didn't know. Are for you even sure? listening to the story? I am. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it sounds like the bag ladies like that kind of. All the Santas or something. It was a Santa crawl. So it was yeah. a bunch oh, of people like a dressed as Santa. <laughs> yeah. So it was straight. You were was surrounded by dirty There we go. Okay, there we go. I, I know. Straight people walked into bars and they had to just get a drink and leave. They okay. all like bombarded the place. So I'll be like, hi, welcome to Metro. You're in a gay bar and you're hot. You want to take a picture? And then they said yes. And I'm like, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so I have two pictures with two hot Santas, an older one and then one right about my age. Yeah, and that's just that's it's a just picture for everybody yeah. right there. There's something for everybody, in right? That. <laughs> well, he likes cougars, so it worked. 
I do enjoy the cougars. Okay, yeah, and that's one thing else I wanted to talk about. So there's a, there's a decent age gap between you guys. Yes, there is. <laughs> but um, seven and a half years. He'll say eight. Don't listen. It's only seven and a half. No, that's an important <laughs> half too. Don't take that oh, from God. her. Okay. It is because on certain parts of the years, I'm eight years older than Allie, but on other, on most of the year, it's seven. That's important. Uh, I'm 45 and a half then, if that's that half count. It does count. You're 45 and a half. <laughs> no, I'm almost, I'm just 45. I'll be 46. I mean, if we're just going to keep rounding up, you might as well be 50. Oh, yeah. Well. See, that's, that's my theory is like, no, I am going to maintain my six and a half cause, or my seven and a half years because before I know you're going to be like, it's 12 year difference. Right? You can, like, no. It gets out of control. <laughs> it's a slippery slope. It's a fallacy. It's an actual thing. <laughs> it does. Well, I spent all last year telling everybody I was 36 and then and it was like two weeks to my birthday and I was like oh I'm gonna be 37 he's like no you're not gonna be fucking 36 it's like I've been lied to this whole year by myself <laughs> <laughs> I was accepting it because the older you are the happier I am oh because you like cougars I do but see it's, she's not a cougar because she has a mindset of a 12 year old boy so <laughs> yeah it's not like, I get that it's not like I'm really dating a cougar she just well no see. you don't even look like a cougar so hmm? I said you don't even look like a cougar Mm-mm. See, I may be in a dress, but it's only because I don't have to put on pants. Mm -hmm. And I had to wear that whole mindset. See, if kilts were more fashionable, I'd probably be down the same road. I really would. I would. Well, your buddy does them. Yeah, but he's like. My buddy Phil is a freaking Viking in, in a person. He wears col- uh, kilts all the time. Yeah, but why he, can't you? He also has an axe on him majority of the time. I don't do that. I couldn't do the kilts because it's very windy around here, <laughs> and like <laughs> traditionally, there's nothing under there. Mm-mm. And I'm not about that life. Yeah, like uh, I, commando's not something I could ever be a part of, ever. I can't. I can, you know, I mean, if we're just going to person, I mean, Commando's kind of refreshing every now and then. No, no, so. denim sucks. I'm a hard pass. <laughs> well, that's only if you're in jeans. If you're in basketball shorts and it's like a hot summer day, boxers are not exactly the thing I want on. That doesn't sound pleasant. It sounds, it's, you know what, you haven't even tried it yet. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I won't judge you too much, only a little. And I won't judge you for wearing a dress on a winter day because it's freezing out. Yes, it is. These tights are fleece lined and they're warmer than any pants I have. Oh. Um, mm-hmm. She planned. Fair yep. enough. I did. We planned that. Well, that and I haven't washed laundry in a minute, so <laughs> it's whatever was. It's a very honest episode. I like this. <laughs> right. So how old? How old were you guys when you met? Then I'm really bad at, at the math here. I was 21 when we met. So you were 28. I, yeah, I was fixing to be. Oh, so you're his age now. Yeah. I aggravate about it all the <laughs> yeah. time. He's I'm like, I'm just now year. your age when we met. That's yeah, awesome. And then his favorite part is, man, I would never date somebody 21. I was I, like, I didn't date you when you were 21. <laughs> There's no way I would date anybody who's 21. So how did My you guys say it's 21? Yeah. <laughs> finally. Um, <laughs> she's finally. She's a 22 next week. Well, it's about time she's of age. Um, so anyways. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm clearly going after children here. Go ahead. <laughs> um, just one. <laughs> so how did you guys meet when you became best friends? How did that all happen? Well... We both have different stories, so. He doesn't remember, <laughs> but it, it was like right after he turned, he one, turned 21, so I'm gonna chalk it up to that 21 year old mentality, like a woo, I'm 21, like drunk all the time phase, but it probably wasn't. No, but I that's was. what I'm going, oh. Okay. No, I, no, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend, she, at the Electric Cowboy is the club in Fort Smith that we used to go to. Well, they have, on Wednesdays. Is that an alternative bar? No. Okay. No, but then on Wednesdays they have a uh, women, like usually a women's dance contest for something or another, and it was like black dress dance contest. And she's like, oh, I'm inviting my friends, uh, Alex and Brie, you should come. And I'm like, I don't know any of your friends, I don't really care. She's like, but it, maybe somebody will buy you drinks. I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> we get there, and then we were talking, and I was like, you're just a cranky ass dude, man. <laughs> for real. Yeah, but my memory of when we met is the greatest. Oh okay, was, what's your memory? Uh, like I was, two months later. I was hanging out with some friends and we were gonna go to one of their friends' house and I didn't know I'd already met her so we show up and this girl walks out of this apartment with these these pajama pants on that say Hustler and they like got guns and stuff all over them. <laughs> I was and in I my was, pajamas, I wasn't expecting company. <laughs> <laughs> well, who has those kind of pajamas? No, I'm already loving them. I, love I them. still have them. Like, oh my gosh. I joke warm the other day. <laughs> But the greatest thing that it always stick in my memory is we were sitting outside and talking forever, and I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm trying to get the gauge on the like seeing the gaydar things just like really throwing me off. Uh-huh. I'm like, 
And then she says, girls are for fucking, guys are for dating. And I'm like, I did. Wait, what? <laughs> and it completely threw me off forever. And then now, I mean, she just gets the- Say that again. And now it's both, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, girls are for fucking, guys are for dating. Oh. I did. That's I'm the first classy. words I ever remember coming out of her mouth. But I had met you like two months before. We had hung out so I didn't many know times. that. Like, I tried to steal your phone off of a table at the Cowboy one time. Like, we had met If so many I didn't times remember before. it, it didn't happen. <laughs> So. And he has this charming story in his head where you're wearing hustler pants with guns all over them. There's like a glow around you, you know. It was. And then the classiest thing came out of her mouth, and it just was amazing. There it is. And then you guys were best friends right then. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever have that sexual desire with uh, about her, or were you just best friends? I mean, isn't that a tight line, anyways? Mm. Mm. Best friends and no, not with mine. Oh, you, you need better best friend no they're good but no i wouldn't he told, me, yeah, he told me then that he was very picky about who his friends were because if they weren't pretty we couldn't be friends and i'd I'm heard him say that what? to so many people <laughs> like, when you said that he's like oh he's, he's like forgot about there. that you added me but he has said that to people and i'm like well i guess we're friends <laughs> I, I mean it's kind of a compliment at the yeah. end of the day but fuck. The first i ever told him i was like you're gonna talk to me if you don't like it i don't care man I'm sitting here by myself. My friend ditched me. We're going to chat. You were very forceful. I made you pay attention to me. In making us become friends. Yeah. Mm. You weren't going to make an initiative to be friends. I don't know why you're personally attacking me right now. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, my goodness. So, okay. So, you know, so then you guys started dating uh, ways down the line after you uh, got your divorce. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys were living in Oklahoma at the time. Pacola? We lived there for a few months. Yeah, we lived right there. on the Arkansas Oklahoma line for like a second. Yeah, that place. And then sucked. we moved <laughs> back to my hometown and then we that, stayed there for a few years. That's so great. So what brought, what brought you to Indiana? Just family you have family here too or Yeah, my mom and my brothers live here. My dad lives down there with my other brother. And um stop Sorry. distracting me. No, it's a, <laughs> it's a have, dog. We have a window for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> It's a dog. And we just needed to change it. I mean, Stigler is a standstill town. It's not going anywhere. It's not moving forward. And we were just going to be stuck. So we needed to go, like, make yeah. our lives progress. Yeah. Well, and if you don't feel safe, you don't feel safe. So you guys, are you living in Indianapolis now? We live in Fortville. Do you okay. feel safe there? Like, right around the corner from me. Yeah. I feel safe everywhere now. Do you? After, after a certain point in this, you just, I don't know if it's age or if it's the years of transition. I don't care anymore. Like, I... Somebody wants to come start something, then let's because let's I've down. I've been in Indianapolis all my life. I mean, I've lived in three counties and they all touch at one point, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is sad, I know. But I've never, I've been very blessed that I've never felt harassed or anything. And I I hang out with a lot of cisgender men because I play poker a lot in a lot of these mm -hmm. poker rooms. Never have had that harassment. So I would think that being in Indianapolis would be a lot different and a lot easier for you in general. It well, is. I haven't had any problems with harassment or anything, but I also don't put myself in situations to have mm. to be harassed either. So, well, and that's he easy. He does and... like edge the line of caution. Like since we've been here, not so much. But like when a place I used to work at in Arkansas, we had a problem with a guy that I had been serving for months because I was a bartender, and we had problems with him. All of a sudden, just one day, like it clicked, and I was like. I got a pull stick and I'm about to shove it up your ass, dude. Like, for oh, real. Yeah, he threatened. Well, I had gone to the bathroom, like, what, six times that day? Mm -hmm. And then he just, I don't know if the, the level of drunkenness or whatever, he came and he put a pull stick and he was like, you're not a man. You walk in there, I'm going to pop you in the mouth. And I was like, all right. So I left and then she came out behind me. And she's like, hold on, I'm going to go get your ID. And then I don't know what happened after that. <laughs> <laughs> she came out really happy, so I'm sure that somebody got something. Yeah. He's a little deaf in one ear, so he can't hear certain octaves. Over the past seven and a half, almost eight years, I've learned which he can and can't hear. Like, this is not my, nor my normal. This is me dropping my voice so he can hear me. So, like, if somebody's pissing me off by being hateful, I can easily just go over there and be like, Hi, how are you? Do you want me to whoop your ass? And then you, and you didn't hear a thing of it. No, she, she knows exactly how to talk when... And it's really irritating because she talks, wants to talk crap about me while I'm right there. I, she just goes on a whole conversation, and then everybody's laughing. I'm like, I don't know any what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk about crap about you, though. I say mm. that to your face because that's the kind of relationship. That's I true. Have. I've heard her. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Strict. We've heard her. We've yeah, I, that's what I mean. We've the whole dynamic. Yeah. I dig it. Right. Right. So, 
Okay, so then you guys, so you guys moved to Indiana. Fortville, by the way, being that near Fishers, Fishers is genuinely, like, that's where I live, and it's a very, obviously, accepting community. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, that's just got to be a huge turnaround from Kansas, Oklahoma. Kansas. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Well, because I thought. It's the same. Yeah, they're all the same, they, right? I, I, honestly, I hate to say that, but I did terrible on my MAPS test when I was a kid. So, like, it's all, <laughs> everything past, like, Mississippi, I, I get very confused. But that's, no. I, that's just got to be a huge transition. And honestly, it's got to be nice just living somewhere where you can be yourself. And it's not even an ordeal. I'm actually not living any different than I was. I just. Well, you get to leave the house. Mm. I no. mean, it's, it's really not a different. They, I'm a very secluded person anyways. He's oh, a very okay. introvert. He's an introvert. Big time. Things, things really haven't changed. I'm not. I don't know. Like, in order to get him talking to me, talking to me when we're out playing poker or something, he has to have drinks in him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He even though we're not, friends. He will not. Are you like, sure you're not a Ravenclaw, dude? I, know, I don't right? know anything oh my God, about, here we go. about this business that you <laughs> like, speak of. I, right? Something this, that clicks, though, I think it's Harry Potter. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know about it. But there are certain <laughs> things that, like, if you're going to be having a conversation about something, if it doesn't catch his interest, he's not going to talk. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which is why I had to force him to talk to me to be friends to begin with, because but I you tell accidentally... shitty stories, so I had to be like, listen to me. <laughs> Hello. I'm dropping I'm... my voice an octave so you will listen. <laughs> Hello, remember I'm pretty. That's what you said. You can only Problem be friends is, though, with pretty when ones. If you accidentally do find my passions and interests, then then there's he, no shutting up. He out. doesn't stop. I'll talk for days. Yes. And he's like, you, okay, I get it. Please stop. I'm like, okay. So yeah. like what what is that for you? What is like something that you could just go on for hours about? Oh. Hmm. What are you looking at me for? Answer. I don't want to answer. Why? Because they're secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I have weird hobbies I'd like to keep to myself. <laughs> okay, now I'm intrigued even more. <laughs> I mean, we had a guy come on here who talked about kink culture for an hour. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is, but mine's not that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't, I can only imagine it's not that for you, yes. Yeah, mine's kink. more philosophical. If we can have a philosophical conversation about, like, the world and God and everything, then I'm down for hours. Huh. So pro God or against God? I am not either. Okay. I don't believe in God. Okay. We're not going on this. Tangent. No, we're not. <laughs> I just was curious if we're going to have this conversation another time because we're not now. I'm thinking like three beers in, you and I can have this conversation for hours. No, we won't. Everything. In if I'm three beers facts. in. <laughs> yeah. What did you say? As long as it's facts based, that's all he cares about. Oh, I he only do facts. facts. Okay. No. I don't have opinions. Yeah. He doesn't want your opinion on something. He just likes cold facts. And that's all he goes off of. We could have this conversation then. I do not have, I don't even have political opinions. I am strictly, I will talk facts with you all day long and I will not give a single opinion about it. I Hmm. just like facts. And that comes with everything. Anything I'm interested in, anything I want to talk about, I'd rather talk about facts than how I feel about things. Feelings are tough. I get that. Mm -hmm. No, just honestly, it's just way easier if you're going off facts and it's logical and no one can say, oh, you're biased because of such and such. You know what I mean? It's true. I'm like data. If you want to have a conversation with me, bring me the data. We'll talk about it. There you go. That's about it. So Star Trek is possible. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know this anything one, about Star not Trek. That one. Not that data. Okay. No. Damn, this is going to so, be So, like, no. that's, that's why you don't get the Harry Potter references, right? I don't get anything she He's talks not about. Nerd. Well, that's what I mean. I don't get it either because okay. it's not real. Huh. It's not real. That's why I don't get into it do you it. do video games or anything or oh uh, sometimes my brother wants to play video games and i'll play those but i i mean unless it's mario Are i don't you really like a know how to play it book guy no i mean i read books okay no i'm just trying to figure out like your free time i'm trying to figure out how that looks he reads but it's biographies i do and... love biographies i do love like good biographies history. so do you like yeah. watching a lot of documentaries yes but i have to be alone for that because she hates them I get so, bored. I can't imagine. I have squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I also don't have a lot of time by myself. It's, I'm only home for like an hour and a half before you get home, so I don't have a lot yeah. of time to get into a documentary. I had to watch the Ted Bundy things on Netflix like in secret. I had to like sneak away so I could watch oh, it. Oh, but those were really good. I tried to tell her. She said no. Oh my God. Those are like, and, the, and talk about fact-based. They brought research mm-hmm. in from like eight different investigators that weren't even police. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was I awesome. liked it. <laughs> I just really like that documentary. Sorry, I just watched the Aaron Hernandez one they just put up recently too, yeah. and that painted a whole different picture of that investigation than I've ever seen before. See, I don't watch TV that much, so 
No, not too busy. The L word or what's that new no. show you're obsessed with? Oh uh, no, we won't talk about that. That's that show's about me. Is the L word? Did it come back out? Yes. Yeah, there's like a new L word. It, it, why? It's good. I know, but was it not good enough before? I right. I haven't. Yeah, it's, I haven't gener- <laughs> it's what generation Q or Z or whatever you guys are. I don't know. But I don't even know what generation I am. Huh? I don't even think they got it right the first time. I don't like how it ended. I'm not. Well, not that. I oh. just don't think they got. Uh, I don't think it's bad. I mean, we just do fun Sunday fun day and watch it. Us, we have dinner, a bunch of us, and and watch it. But the other show, yeah, no, that they just got me on that one. It's it's a real life about a comedian, and and it's scary how much her and I are alike. And yeah, so and you just don't want to mention it. Cause... I, can't, I can't think of it. Oh. That's why. Okay, I was um, like, I was like, I, it's because you're really invested in that show. You've been work in me. progress. That's it. Is that what it is? That's and she's a comedian, and she's uh, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, I don't know. I'm a lot like her, I and seen it's it's or almost scary it? of how much I'm like her. Well, it's on Showtime. Oh, I don't have Showtime. Well, I I got it because they that's where the L word is, and they showed me this show, and I was like, "Are you guys doing an intervention or something?" Because this looks like it's about my life. They're <laughs> coming at you. No, it, it, it it's it's scary. You gotta watch it because then you'll know understand Avery because you know me so well. But yeah. Anyways, okay, so we have. A section of our uh, segment and our show that we like to say called Gays Ask. So we got a couple of fun <coughs> questions. All you right. want to start? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and I'm, I'm just going to start with my favorite. Um, if you could be on any reality TV show, what would it be? The Circle. Same. The one on Netflix right now? Yes. I haven't even seen it. Why? I've never Why? heard what, about what it. Is what is it, is it about? Well, it's a it's to become the most popular so you don't get to see or talk to anybody. You just communicate via like messages on your TV and you do alerts and challenges and it's pretty much just basing everybody off looks and personalities and getting to know people and to be I, the most what? popular? Yes. Yeah, you're trying I have to, to look like at that. an influencer. Well, I could win oh, that. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah. It's so fun, though. Like, oh, I may have to check. I don't actually have to be face to face with anybody. Yeah, I can just communicate through text messages. Oh, that is perfect for you. It would be awesome. And huh. I can just lay around in my not put on pants. Yeah, I mean, they had a girl Th- that didn't. That's do like that, your brand. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she wears wore shorts all the time. So. You could wear things that say "hustler" yeah. every day of the week. <laughs> I could. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what you know? I'm scared I to ask my question. Know, but. Why? They're not gonna cry. Right, okay. Good. You can't okay. make me cry. Okay. Well, I believe you. you I believe nobody could make you cry. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. So, if you could have dinner with somebody alive or dead, who would it be and why? Wow. Mine would probably be my grandpa. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, I didn't get to say bye. Huh. Honestly, mine would be my grandma. She was just like my best friend. <laughs> my grandpa made like every year for Christmas. He would make two hams, one for the whole family and one for me. Because <laughs> my birthday's Christmas Eve, so he's like. This is Andreas. And like he would put a note on this as this is Andreas. Do not touch her ham. And my uncle one year tried to touch it and my grandpa came over with a spatula and like smacked him. Uh-huh. He's like, no. You guys so, would probably have yeah. ham for dinner then. We would. I love um, that. That's like my yeah. secret alternative, like hoping that the ham would be there for that. <laughs> my grandma and my mom try to make it, but it's not the same. Yeah. Yeah. I think I it's because he burnt it a little on the outside, so it was good and crispy. Yeah. I dig that one. Wes. Well, mine's going to be really cheesy. Nah. <laughs> well, it can't be any famous because I've got too much anxiety and I do not like to be miserable while I eat. <laughs> I like very anti being miserable. So I would just have As dinner with be. Andy. I told Aww, you it's going to be real that's cheesy. That's adorable. Aww, that's gay. You can do that right now, <laughs> dude. It's so gay. <laughs> it's so gay, but that's cute. <laughs> well, well, someday maybe I'll meet somebody like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, we'll that's a, that's adorable. It's all about being open to it, really. Because yeah. honestly, I wouldn't have met Allie if I wasn't at least open to it. And You're I was right. on my little drunken path before that. So it's true. You know, it's honestly, true. I think that, and honestly, I think finding someone who accepts you for the person you are is huge, mm-hmm. especially yeah. when they knew you from before. That's huge. and and sticking with you through the transition. I'm sure. I'm sure that you know it has to be hard a lot of times though, with everything it, and changes, you know, differences. But you guys act like it wasn't. I don't think we've Not had any us. problems. Really? That's just, that's impressive. I mean, we, I think that, you start out as best friends. I well, think that's like that, a healthy yeah. transition. And that talk, that says, you know, who you guys are as a couple, though, and how strong you are as a couple then. Well, yeah. I, we're married and we're a couple, but we're always best friends first. Like, there's no filter between us. <laughs> I'm like, you shouldn't wear that out in public. And she's like, okay. <laughs> 
she's like okay and then she'll go change and then i'll do something she's like are you gonna wear that hat with that boots i'm like okay i'm going to like we don't or he'll take his hat off i'm like mm, you should put that back on <laughs> your I mean, hair is not today <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah open yeah. and honest with each other and we don't i'm not gonna lie to her and she's not gonna lie to me so we're best friends first and then the marriage part's just a chair well that's yeah. the way it should be yeah, and like my being sick the past few days i'm laying on the couch and he's like you kind of stink a little I'm like i ah, know leave me alone okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have another question yeah um what is a place that was pivotal and changed your life like just in general yeah a place yeah a place those are very hard questions i don't think i so. did a lot she of studying. First she goes, really softball guy. she goes i don't think so <laughs> i did a lot of studying before i came here i didn't study this part i think that's the point places pivotal places wait a minute what did you study <laughs> Yep. Nope. Changing my question. What did you study yeah, before right? you came on what? here? I've just been back and watched like previous episodes and like general things that you guys asked. So I like brushed. Huh. I actually contacted some previous people in my life. So I had a story straight. And his memory sucks. So he had to go back and like fact check his his own life. Yeah. To make sure that he had correct answers to give you. And I'm like, what the mm-hmm. hell are you doing? What? I, like, I don't remember that. I mean, come on. That's awesome, though. Mm-hmm. Honestly, no. I mean, to be pre- you have to be prepared for an interview, and if you have anxiety, like, you totally prepped yeah, for it. Yeah, I did. Man, you're a very type A, aren't you? I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Over, <laughs> toilet paper, Please. over or under? What? Toilet paper, over or under? Over. Always over. Okay. Always under. <laughs> You're fucking weird. Right? No, it stays farther away from the toilet no, bowl. It's all no, logic. No, no, your knuckles on the wall. I no. never, I've never busted my knuckles on the wall. No. The original Avery, patent that's wrong. for it, it was hanging yes. over. Mm-hmm. The original patent. It should always be yeah. there. You're wrong. I, you're not wrong. wrong. You absolutely are wrong. You However, are wrong. I please. It is not an opinion thing. <laughs> it is a, It is literally an opinion thing. No, there are plenty not. of people who have it going. The it other is one way. way or the other, and it, the one way is the, wrong, I'm and the one way is right. Toilet paper around. So clearly, it's still to, not a fact. Yeah, I go to other people's houses. I change if it's it. Wrong. I change it. I'm a hero. I change oh, it in the public restroom. My friend Haley used to do that every time she came over my house. I'd walk in there and I'd look over. I'm like, God, damn it. I'll change it in a public restroom. So. I'm not touching that much. I mean. It depends on, like, if it's just, like, a little one like that. I'm like, I might, but it depends on the restroom. Like, if it's a disgusting, I'm just going to hover and run. <laughs> hover and run anyway, so. You're right. Like, I go to a friend's house. I went to my mom's the other day, or not the other day, like, a few months ago when we went back for Thanksgiving, and hers was turned the wrong way, and I'm like, you fucking monster. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know better. Something. And she goes, I did not change that. I was like, I don't believe you, because this is wrong. And this is your house. You are responsible. And this is your house. (laughs) We greatly appreciate you guys coming on. It's been a lot of fun talking to you guys. Thank you so much. And I know you were kind of anxious about it. I'm still anxious about it. I hope the CBD helped. I'm going to stay up all night replaying this whole thing in my head. I'll be hearing about it in like six months from now. Really? Yeah. See, I think it was great. And you did well, and I yeah. think the CBD helped. And no, you were very you a little. No, no, you you were just fine, really. You you were very good with your ideas. Nobody was confused ever. Well, he was really prepared. He was probably better prepared than we are usually for yeah. our show. Are you kidding? He actually went back to previous episodes. I should probably start doing that before interviews, right? We need to do that anyways. Get yeah. real together. So, anyways, if you guys want to be on our show, you can contact us at uh, www.laughs.life. There's a contact me page. Or you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, or TikTok. TikTok, yeah, ish. I'm, try- I'm 45. I'm trying. Because I, cause I'm doing it and yeah, I'm, <laughs> it's, I'm too old. But anyways, yeah. So all of those, contact us. If you have questions for the gays ask, send them to us. Heard. This has been Gaze of Our Lives. Make sure to check out the gaze online at www.laughs.life.